Hey guys, it's Miss Olivia coming to you live from my apartment. Uh, miss you guys, wish I was in school with you. Um, today, I'm gonna explain to you how to join a virtual meeting with your teachers using Google Meet. Now, Google Meet is a great way to have some small group sessions where the teachers can actually get together with you, maybe run book clubs, give some feedback, um, or maybe do just a small group lesson like we would do in the classrooms. Um, there's three ways that your teachers might invite you to do this. This could be one, through a Google Calendar invite, two, through uh, Google Classroom itself and posting a link, or three, maybe in a document and you sign up for a time and click the link during that time. I'm gonna show you how to access Google Meet um, and how to get into that meeting and what are the appropriate things you should do during that meeting. So like I said, there are three main ways that you will be invited to a Google Meet with your teacher. The first might be through a document. So if I were to go to this document, I see that there's a Meet link with Mr. Tracy and I would click it and it would bring me to the location I'd need to be in. The second option might be in, uh, in Google Classroom. And so your teacher, like Miss Ann, might post um, a link in Google Classroom. And so what you'll see is this little icon that looks like a little video camera in that bubble. You would click on it and it brings you to your meeting. And the final option might be in a Google Calendar invitation. I can see Miss Ashley invited me to a small group and uh, to a small group meeting today. Now when I'm in my invitation, I can go to more details. It'll bring me to my Google Calendar. And in Google Calendar, if I click my event, I see that there's a link for me to join Google, Hangout, uh, Google Hangouts Meet. So I'm gonna click that now and show you how I'm gonna join the meeting. All right, so I'm getting ready to join the meeting. Right now, nobody's here. That's perfect, because that's for the sake of this meeting right now. Before you go and click join now, what I want you to make sure you think about is the fact that you're gonna be joining a meeting with a lot of other people. And so you wanna make sure you're joining in and hearing what your teacher has to say right away. What you need to do first is actually turn off your microphone so that way when you enter the meeting, it's just your teacher's voice that you're hearing at first. They will tell you whether or not to turn your microphone on or off at the beginning. So right here, I can either turn off my camera or since we're video chatting, I wanna turn off my microphone. I'm gonna click that before I join now. Then I click join now and it brings me into the meeting. Now, when other people are here, you're gonna see other people's faces. And so because my microphone is off, if anybody else was here, they wouldn't be able to hear me. So the point of that again is so that way you can hear exactly what your teacher has to say, the directions they have to give. During a meeting, you might have questions that you wanna ask, but your teacher might be giving directions or might be saying something specific. Listen out to their directions and how they want to run the meeting, but one option for asking questions without interrupting is by actually putting in a chat. Up here in this corner, you'll see the little chat icon. And so when I click on that, there's a running message chat that I can send to everybody so that way my teacher or the other people in my meeting can see what's happening and, uh, and see the questions I have. So if you have a question or a comment that you want your teacher to see, but maybe it's not the right time to interrupt or ask it, you can type it right here. So maybe my question might be, uh, why do I need to put my mic on mute? and I'll just hit enter and it's now in the feed. So then when my teacher sees it, they can answer it in the time that they have. Um, another way to contribute and make sure that you're participating is actually by unmuting your mic and your teacher will tell you the right time to do that. If it's a small enough group, you might ha not need to have your mic muted at all. But if it's a big enough group, they might ha wait, have you wait until they say, now does anybody have any questions? This is the time where you unmute your mic. And I'll just click this little microphone icon again to turn on my microphone. Now anybody who's in the meeting can hear what I have to say. Um, and then also the very last thing I want you to think about before coming, uh, before coming into these meetings is that your teacher may record the meetings. And the reason that they might do that is actually one, to protect you and protect them, to make sure that everybody's being safe since we're in this virtual setting. Also, 
to help any students who might not have been able to attend the meeting. And so they can go back and watch the video and learn from the small group that you guys did. And also to maybe for the teacher to go back and listen to what you guys said so that that way they can give better feedback to you guys later on. One last thing before you leave the meeting is to share your screen. So there might be some times where you might need to share your screen to show your teacher your work. Um, and so, so I'm gonna click on that. And notice I can't share yet. The reason I can't share is because I need to click on that option. So I'm gonna click on this preview and I'm going to click share. In a moment, you're gonna see my screen is presenting and you might not be, so literally what other people are seeing is what you are seeing. And so when you go to another tab to share your screen, that's gonna be what other people see in Google Meet. That's how you share your screen so that way maybe your teacher or your other teammates can see what is going on. So that's one way to, and then you just hit stop presenting to go back to normal video. These are all helpful tips for using Google Meet and having a successful meeting. When the meeting is over, you just click this hang up button and it's done. Hope you had a good tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy using Google Meets.